Atlas, Atlas, uh, in the high, yes. in the hot seat tonight. And Atlas goes by the name of Atlas the Bookkeeper. How you feeling, my friend? The one has done a super chat. I watched some of your recent Casey interview with June. June, not June, Josh. We did not do an interview with June the King. <laughs> This person's got their wires crossed here. It was an interview, a Kino Casino interview with June the King. June the King, he's not happy. There was a Kino Casino interview with Josh Moon yesterday. I think he combined the words Josh and Moon into June, but it's not the same person as June the King. Let's not get this all confused. All right, let's start over. I watched some of your recent Casey interview with Josh. You nailed it perfectly when you said the root issue is a moral disagreement. He often contradicted himself, and I think deep down he isn't happy. You know, you never know. You don't know because you can't really see inside the mind of someone else or the heart of someone else. All you can do is believe what they say, maybe read body language. We couldn't read body language because he didn't have a webcam, right? So all we can do is trust his word. And if he says he's happy with what he's doing, good for him. But you notice I ended the show, the interview, with a word of warning to him. The, the allegory or was it a comparison, whatever it was about the Frankenstein's monster. Because I really do feel like that Kiwi Farms is going to kill him. I mean, I don't mean it's going to physically, like, come and murder him. I'm saying, like, running a site like that and having to constantly move it around the internet just because you want to have the best drama site on the internet, I, I just don't see the point. Literally, at the end of the day, no one is going to... I'm going to be honest here. At the end of the day, no one's going to remember Josh Moon, the owner of Kiwi Farms. They're just not. What they're going to remember is Kiwi Farms, which was a toxic website. That's all they're going to remember. Even if his intention is good, sadly, that's the stigma that site has now. And I get the feeling that <clears throat> moving through the years, it's going to get worse for him. And I really feel, after having spoken with him, he's a well-spoken guy. He seems very intelligent. And he certainly doesn't seem like a bad person. Like, his intentions seem good. But I feel like, sadly, it's going to crash and burn for him. And I hope that he gets out before it's too late. You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, Cosmos with the Super Chat. Congrats on Civil Josh Talk and banning you-know-who. If similar success goes with Keem and your documentary, you should be clear for positive inflation. Well, first off, due to a, an addendum on that, yes, we banned you-know-who. Yes, we banned him on every single channel because my moderators actually figured out there's a way to seek out people on channels even if they're not actively in the chat, and we banned him there too. We've also uh, basically banned his name from the chat because we have trolls coming in now literally just spamming his name and saying gross stuff and also making accounts and stuff with his name. So that's all done as of now. It's all done. It's wiped. It's, it's history. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go watch my interview with Kino Casino and Josh Moon from yesterday, and you'll definitely understand what I'm talking about. Uh, it's actually clipped right now over on the Kino Casino Clips channel. You can check it out here on YouTube. Go check it out there because it's more edited for time and it's better. Um, So there you go. Uh, Go check it out, and we're done. There's no other further discussion. I've already talked about it. It's over. No, you're not going to get to ask me. In fact, the same fucking, literally, goodbye. I'm serious. I'm not even kidding you. As I'm saying this right now, someone in chat says, oh, well, why did you take you so long to fuck? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up and get out of my chat and don't come back. The king decrees you are a plebeian and a little wimp and a peon. Get the fuck out of the king's court. I'm tired of wasting my time repeating myself. The king does not repeat himself. <laughs> So we're done with that topic and it's all good, all right?